This was the scene Wednesday afternoon on the steps of the Tom Green County Courthouse. Back up. The events leading up to this moment began a little more than a year ago in March of 2016. San Angelo police responded to the 1100 block of East 22nd Street. They found two gunshot victims, 17 year old Juan Guerrero and 16 year old Zane Lopez. Justice for Juan. Six suspects were charged in the case with capital murder of multiple persons. A plea hearing was held Wednesday for one of the defendants, 18 year old Fred Angel Garcia. Garcia pled guilty to a lesser charge of murder. In return for the guilty plea, he was sentenced to 35 years in prison. Although the mother of one of the victims felt that amount of time was not long enough. This is a slap in the face to me and my family, as well as my son's loved ones. It's not fair. He should be getting life in prison, if not the death penalty. District Attorney Allison Palmer explained how the state evaluates cases and makes plea deals similar to that of Garcia's. There are various factors we take into consideration. Um, those factors will include, certainly, the nature and circumstances of the offense. Those factors also include the age and criminal history of the offender. All these cases right here are people that had no prior records and they're doing capital, uh, capital murder cases, and they're getting life in prison. And this kid here is getting 35 years for the life of two people that were taken. Palmer says there are no two cases that are identical. There's actually quite a bit of a, a kind of a calculus involved in comparing one type of case an offender in a sentence received from a jury to another. Following the hearing, a fight broke out on the courthouse lawn between family members of those involved in the case. Please leave. During the altercation, sheriff's deputies took one teen into custody. He was later released to his mother and issued a citation for disturbing the peace.